What's up, gamers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today, I, we're gonna be looking at some memes! Now, you might be thinking, wait, I think I've seen this before. And you might be right, but that would be either because maybe you've seen my memes. That's probably not likely, but you never know. <laughs> or maybe you saw Biscuit Underscore's video called Twilight Memes because I was in it! It's crazy! Um, and in that video, we just kind of looked at exactly what we're going to do today, except it's going to be a little different because that was a while ago. So we're going to look at all the memes I've posted since then. I will say that most of these are not mine, and you're definitely going to be able to tell when they are. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's get into it. A while ago, I read an article about how dogs love us back but recognize that we're different from them, while cats see us as bigger and clumsier than them, but do not consider us different. Dogs, I am fuzzy creature, and you are a different adorable creature, and I love you! Cats, I am lanky and graceful, and you are a giant mess. <laughs> I actually love, I mean, one, obviously, giant mess, completely accurate, but I also love that, like, that they view us as the same, as we very clearly are not, but I don't know, I just kind of like that. Someone, how are you today? The hallucination of every Cullen that I keep around at all times. Lie. I think I'd actually kind of love if I had a hallucination of Edward Cullen, like, all the time. Just telling me what to say in, like, any interaction. I'm not even sure if I'd really listen, but it'd be interesting to, like, hear what he has to say. I mean, he's pretty old. He's, like, a hundred or something, so he'd probably have a lot of wisdom. Um, <laughs> maybe he'd actually know if I should do something or not. This is so unrelated. Well, only kind of, but <laughs> I wonder if, like, if Edward ever found out that Bella was, like, hallucinating him while he was gone. Or if she, like, knew that it was a hallucination. Like, I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. Kia? Nokia? Nokia? No Nokia. Nokia, Nokia? Kia, no Nokia. Nokia, no Nokia, Kia, Nokia. This one isn't even a meme. This is just me not okay and needing to talk about it. <laughs> um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory if you know what I'm talking about, or if you like Boy Genius. Also, if you're like not a child and you like Boy Genius, you should um, go check out a little link in the description. And I think I think you'll be you'll be happy that you did. If you are a child, please don't do that though. Don't don't do it, please. <laughs> don't get me. Don't get it. I don't even know what you would do, but don't do the things. Room tour. Don't you like it? It's so pretty. I know. It took a lot of work. Lots of creativity went into this. She her blocked and unfollowed. In summer 2003, my first class, I had a student bring her five-year-old daughter to several of my classes. I was talking about sharks, and this little girl raises her hand, so I call on her. Finding Nemo has a shark. Yes, it does. Still one of my favorite classroom exchanges. I like... I know they're kind of really insane, but I love little kids. Babies included. Any, like, under the age of ten... I just realized you can't see me, so you can't see the motions that I'm making, but it's not- Oh, that sounded so bad. I was- I was shaking my hands. This spot reserved for people that twerk at babies. So true, honestly. Especially with the- the line right here, really. It really... adds to it. <laughs> that green nut ice cream. I really think it's- like, I don't know if they just can't say pistachio, like, that doesn't make sense. It says pistachio elsewhere, so they know it's pistachios, but, you know, it's, it's just that green nut. They've just overthrown the government of Brazil. We apologize to those who <laughs> have been served a misleading message from a fake Chiquita account. We've not overthrown a government since 1954. Good to know. I should actually uh, Google that, see when the last time they did that was. Yeah, 1954, with the help of the CIA. I actually really didn't know that. That's kind of crazy.
Rachel and I are no longer dating. Mike, that's a horrible way of telling people we're married. I actually, okay, I don't have like Twitter because who uses Twitter at this point anymore? But that's actually kind of a lie. But, <laughs> but my point is, if like whenever I get married, I really, really want to make this joke. Now, I don't know if Twitter will be a thing then. Or if, like, this makes no sense is what I'm saying. But, like, like I just, I'm just saying I want to make this joke. Just be like, yeah, Rachel and I are no longer, da- no longer dating, guys. Isn't that so sad? We're married, but we, we still aren't dating anymore. <laughs> Someone. It starts at 4, so you should be here by 3.45. Me. Arrives at 3.30 because I have to be early to being early. Left at 2.45. Arrived at 3.15. Sat in the car for 15 minutes so it wouldn't be weird. <laughs> Honestly, I will do the exact same things. Like, I've definitely, I've 100% done that before. Stop, bully. Behind every girl boss is another bigger girl boss. They call this a pyramid scheme, I think. I think they prefer the term MLM. I think you're thinking of WW. Multi-level marketing scheme. This one's genuinely, I, one of my favorites. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of this one. Hello, I forgot to say something in this video. Uh, oh my god. If, do you like boy genius? Uh, maybe. If you do, um, and you are not a child, uh, click the link in the description. That's, that's all I have to say. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the video. Forcing my BF to watch all five Twilight movies with me. Boyfriend or best friend? I really hope this isn't a BF as in boyfriend. It's genuinely so effing disappointing. I don't get why you Twitter girls don't make it obvious you're taken. I literally for two weeks would check your tweets for your mental health to see if you're okay. And you have a boyfriend? Is he a Chad? Is he white? <laughs> that escalated so fast. <laughs> as if you could outrun me. I love you, Spider Monkey. Sorry, I'll think of a better one than Spider Monkey. You're my favorite brand of heroin. Sorry, that's a drug. <laughs> Everyone. Charlie. I don't know how to, like, explain this one, but I was I was trying so hard to, like, find an actual image or, like, a video of this, this scene, like, from the movie, and I could not find it for the life of me. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, it was when Jacob was yelling, like, complaining about something. I don't even remember what. He was mad that, like, she had, like, Bella had, like, told everybody or or everyone, or something like that. <laughs> Except all you just went, like, you've told everyone, Charlie? And then, like, stop list- listing people after that. Jacob. Okay, now slowly release the clutch. Bella. <laughs> just takes off. <laughs> takes off and hits her in the head instantly. <laughs> Me showing my partner Twilight News they don't understand. I mean, okay, one, 100% agree with this plus one. Also, this isn't, like, related to the actual meme, but why, what is going on there? Like, why does he look so, like, shocked <laughs> and confused, frightened? <laughs> like, I just wanted the context behind the actual picture, I guess. Girl looks like she was about to throw up and shit herself at the same time. It was bad. I can't even, like, describe- Like, I- I assume this was when she was, like- Because based off, like, the red and probably Alice's hat- Also- I'm interrupting myself, but what is that face? Like, okay, I know she's gonna go, like, save Eddie boy or whatever, but, like, I don't know, that look is not necessary. (laughs) She does not need to be, like, that nervous, I don't think. As if, girlfriend. Okay, this isn't related to the memes, but, um, this is, like, the second time I've tried to record this video for what, like, whatever, I'm not really gonna explain, but, um... I unintent like I found a list of like of thirteen little known facts about Edward Cullen that even diehard Twilight fans might not know from Yahoo Sports. Um and so I feel like I might just might just read a few of those to you. I mean, why not? Wouldn't you wouldn't you just love that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, starting off, Edward Cullen is 104 years old at the start of the Twilight saga, so he has a complex history. Great, thank you for, for telling me that. He's, he's a very complex history. Before he met Bella, he rejected another vampire several times and earned two graduate degrees. I don't think those are related thoughts. Also, the bullet points just, like, they're gone. 
they're like purple, whatever. And then, and then there's just like sporadic thoughts. It's a lot more than 13 as well, but whatever. Edward Cullen planned on seeing Bella Swan and the rest. Oh, I just said seeing. Killing! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, this is just an lab. Edward planned to kill Bella in their entire biology class when he first met her at school. Wow, that's crazy. It's what a surprise. It's I didn't know that. I did know that, but. This is just. Oh, it's just like a total explanation. Okay, the purple is gone still. And then just like completely. I don't think I need context for that. I'd actually like context for the complex history, but okay. <laughs> sure. He continuously rejected another vampire, Tanya Denali. He wanted to enlist during World War One. Good to know. Why didn't you, buddy? Hmm? Oh wait, how old would he have been? When was when was Eddie Boy born? Oh, wait, it probably literally says in here, doesn't it? Wait. Oh, 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 oh. When he when he was 18. But his mother didn't want him to become a soldier. Oh, because he was a human. Oh. I'm actually like reading this book right now, but I haven't read it in like a while. So I don't uh, remember him reflecting. I don't think I've gotten that far yet. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, and then he became sick, of course. But then he was turned. I feel like after he was turned, he still could have been like, I'm gonna join the war. Fight for my country. He's not British. Um, but he didn't he didn't do that. He once briefly went on a killing spree. Good to know. Thanks for that. Edward is a Gemini. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. I needed I needed that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 1901. So okay, sure. This makes him a Gemini, a sign known for intelligence and adaptability. Traits that Edward shows throughout the books. He may have learned how to play the piano while he was still human. It's just, just maybe, you know, it's like it's possible, you know? He prefers hunting and drinking mountain lions. Good to know. Thanks for telling me. Edward, tell us, Bella. Oh, there's a... I thought it was just blue for no reason. <laughs> Edward has at least two graduate degrees. I love how this isn't even like a... I guess I don't know why it would be a Yahoo Sports article. Why was it on Yahoo Sports, actually? But it's not it's not like the original thing. Oh. And then there's a uh, golf guy. Yeah? I'm not really sure. I think that's golf. I don't know a lot about sports, but that seems right. <laughs> um Yeah, um I guess that's kind of it. Uh thanks for watching the video. I didn't know what to say anymore and then I stopped. So here we are. <laughs> um uh, make sure to like and subscribe and um, watch. Uh, I was going to say watch a specific video, but any video is cool. Just whatever you want. Uh, go check out Biscuit underscore. Uh, link in the description. And also, his, his biscuity face is probably on the screen right now. Um, he's the reason that I'm posting again. So, yeah. Also, thank you for all the views on uh, my tier list video. It's really appreciated and also i'm back at 200 subscribers um it, it really means a lot so um thank you that's all uh, bye bye toodles